What's up guys, ma 2 Disc Golf here, and today is going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm not really going to be throwing, but I am going to show you what my setup at home looks like for when I don't have time to get out to the field or to a course to practice some shots and some putts. Also, I used to putt with a couple different putters, some D-Line Flex 2 P2s and some of the old P-Line P2s, but I'm no longer putting with either of them. I switched over to the Rainmaker that you saw, same video that I unboxed the European Open discs because they dropped on the same day. And I really like them because they're just slightly shallower than the P2s. And I can really tell it from how I sit, seat my pinky finger on the disc that it just feels a little bit better and the releases seem to be a little bit cleaner because of that extra like one and a half millimeters that it doesn't have on the side. And it makes it really nice to putt with. So let's flip over to exactly what my setup looks like at home. So I'm here and my backyard, I have a pretty nice setup for putting and even some practice throws while I'm at home and can't make it out to the course. Because sometimes you don't have the time to drive out to a course, either throw in a field or practice at some of the baskets there. So having stuff at home is a really good way to stay on top of your game. So what we have here is a little patch of artificial turf. It's about 15 feet long. And then I currently have an Axiom Pro set up about five feet past it for a 20 foot putt from the backside of the artificial turf. Behind it, I have a batting net. And I think that's really helpful because all of these rocks around here break in discs a lot faster than the chains on the basket do. So the net behind it is to hopefully have anything that goes too deep to collect in this net here. Catch, drop down, save a little bit of, and you know, reduce the force of the impact on those rocks. Let's see if I can make it rain with the new Creator Series disc the Rainmaker from Eagle McMahon in the Flex 3 Glow Plastic. This is always interesting because I never quite know what the wind's going to be doing back here. But right now I have a little bit of a headwind putting this way and this little patch of turf here is about 15 feet long so I have the basket place about 5 feet past it. And this allows me to get a 20 foot putt in with relative ease with plenty of space in the back and plenty of space behind me so I can back up a little bit and I shouldn't have any issues getting circle one putts practiced in this yard. It's about 40 feet wide and that should allow me some space to get at all of my circle one putt needs done. So let's get some 20 footers with the new Rainmaker. Two putts made, little bit left, but I think it flies great. All right, moving back to 25 feet, and we're gonna see if I can't make it rain like Eagle McMahon and the Rainmaker. Too easy from 25. So, it's a little overview of what I putt like at home and how I practice. And also my switch over to the new Creator Series Rainmaker in the Flex 3 Glow Plastic. And I also like that Flex 3 because it's a little bit stiffer and a little bit smoother. And when it's 100 plus degrees out here in Vegas, it's really helpful for getting it out of your hand in the middle of a hot round. Whereas the Flex 2 seems to be a little bit tackier and a little bit gummier in the hand and can tend to lead, at least for me, to some late releases. Not sure if they're still available on Discmania's store or at your local retailers, but if they are, I'd recommend picking one up and seeing how it flies for you. I picked up a few because my thing is, is if you're gonna select a putter, you're gonna to wanna to have extras of it because they're the discs that tend to beat in the most. So if you like this video, give it a like. Let me know down below how you practice your putting and your throwing when you can't get out to the course. And I'll catch all of you in the next video.